Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a close look at the brand new Fister Comet S2 Cabrio! As always we're gonna be taking a look at the exterior of the vehicle, the interior of it, customizing it in Los Santos Customs and ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it! And with that let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it! First off this vehicle costs 1.8 million dollars new and as you can see it's beautiful on the outside and it, the best of all it's a convertible and by the looks of it it has a hydraulic spoiler which is always a benefit in my book as for the interactivity you can expect from it you can open i'm happy to say all four doors the hood and the trunk as you'll be able to see here yeah. actually you know what just for, forget what i just said you you cannot open the hood which is kind of a disappointment, but it goes in line with the original Comet S2. But uh, all in all, I'm really happy with uh, what Rockstar did here. And in case you think this vehicle looks familiar to, familiar to you, it's because it's based on the Porsche 911 Cabrio, which of course it is. And uh, that's pretty much the exterior of the vehicle. Now let's jump in and see what the interior looks like. Okay, it uh, looks cool, but I believe this uh, this uh, interior is reused from the original S2. Kind of a disappointment, but oh well. As for the way the vehicle sounds... Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this vehicle sounds exactly like the S2. And the best part of the vehicle is, as I mentioned before, it's a convertible! Which is so cool. Oh, and in case you're curious about the pink color, it's because it, it, it came like this. Shut up! And with that, we're off to Los Santos Customs to customize this bad boy. We're not gonna be going to the agency because it's not an Imani Tech vehicle. And uh, first things first, as you can see, this is a rear wheel drive vehicle, so no surprises there. And with that useful piece of information, and uh, with the beautiful hydraulic spoiler popping up... Oh man, I'm starting to love this vehicle already. We're off to Los Santos Customs and on our way there I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the S2. First off, it feels... Uh, hmm... I gotta say, it feels kinda like the original one. And uh, it's true that I've driven it quite a while ago, but uh, still it feels... Uh, feels rather nice. I gotta say. And one thing that I didn't mention in the beginning of the video is that this vehicle is a part of the sports car category in GT Online. Whoops. And uh, it can sit two people. Oh man, I just can't get enough of that hydraulic spoiler. It looks so cool! And uh, other than the fact that the vehicle's uh, pink, I really have no complaints with the exterior of it. It looks awesome, in my opinion. And... Uh, Performing performance so far is really really good. I, I believe I, I gave the Original S2 a thumbs up and I'm giving this one a thumbs up Here for the magic touch. And as for customizing it as always we're gonna be starting off with the uh, well Let's show you the sell price you can sell it for one million dollars So that's a big loss there and as always we're gonna be going over all the performers options up front upgrading those so we don't forget anything at the end and then we're gonna be focusing on the customization of the vehicle turbo is the last one we're gonna do and bumpers now just like every other vehicle released in this DLC or I should say, unlike any other vehicle released in this DLC this one actually has front and rear bumper options that looks kind of messed up. Most of the vehicles released in this contract DLC uh, have only a splitter, front and rear splitter options, which is really disappointing, but uh, I guess I can't complain with this vehicle. Okay, let's go with this one. Turbo exhausts. Fenders. We can change the fenders of the vehicle, even though they are fugly. Hood. Even though this is technically the trunk of the vehicle, we can we can customize it. Okay, and I think I, I like this one the most. So we're gonna be doing it. Livery, ho oh, ho ho, my favorite customization option. And these are all the liveries you can choose from. 
I gotta say, I kinda like this, because it's very minimalistic. And I actually like this. So, you know what? Aside from the fact that I really, really hate uh, livery, so I'm, I'll just pretend you didn't see that. Next up, license plate, yellow and black, of course. We're gonna be respraying the vehicle at the end of the video. For now, let's just see what types of uh, skirts we have. Okay, so my socks are not uh, still on my feet. Let's just put it that way. Splitter! Also known as from bumper option for the rest of the vehicles from this DLC. Okay, we're not gonna be putting a splitter on. Spoiler! Now, since we have a hydraulic spoiler, and I really, really like the hydraulic spoiler, I'm not gonna be doing any of this. But, uh, and also, the traction bar is already to the max. So, no thank you. Suspension, we're gonna be lowering the vehicle to the lowest suspension possible. So there we go. Transmission, I believe we already did. There we go. Turbo, wheels. I actually kinda like those, so we're gonna be keeping them. Windows. What windows are you referring to, sir? We have no windows. So the next customization option, and actually the last one we're gonna be doing, is respraying the vehicle. Let's see now. <laughs> okay, I think this, yep, bluish silver it is. Secondary color. Let's go with something matte. Midnight purple it is. Trim color. Let's go with something bold. Maybe something yellow or... Yeah, this works. And... The first time I'm doing this, we're gonna be putting on the crew emblem, which is the Bullshit Party logo. I'm gonna be branding the car, basically. And if you're part of the Bullshit Party crew, you can have this emblem as well. Yeah, $25,000 well spent. In any case, let's go outside and see what we did in the sunlight. Or rather, in the fading sunlight. I gotta say, the vehicle looks kinda good to me. Mm -mm -mm. As for the way it behaves and uh, drives after fully customizing it, I should say something first. Uh, the vehicle behaved and drove really, really well, even before customizing it. But now... Ooh la la! It feels, it feels incredible. It's one of the best handling vehicles, in my opinion, of the entire game. I and mean, actually, that shouldn't be surprising to me, considering the traction bar was already full, when, uh, even before... Uh, you know, even with the stock spoiler. So, yeah. Yeah, the vehicle feels really, really nice. Especially for a rear-wheel drive vehicle, it, it behaves very, very predictably. Which is always a good thing. And, um, as for the exterior of the vehicle, as you guys probably heard, I've, I'm in love with the vehicle. I'm in love with the exterior of it. I love that it's a convertible. I love that it has a hydraulic spoiler. And um, the only thing that I can fold the vehicle with is that it has kind of limited customization. But uh, hey, that's what you get with uh, 2021 Rockstar, I guess. Or rather 2022 at this point. But yeah, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing here. As for is it worth it or not, 1.7 million is a lot of money, but uh, considering what you're getting and also considering what your other options are for 1.7, I think this is a steal. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this in my fleet of vehicles and uh, I suggest you give it a shot as well. And uh, I believe this, uh, this marks the end of the video. Thank you so much to everybody that watched, hopefully you liked what you saw, if that's the case, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you like the content. And, uh... Mm -mm -mm. Convertible. I just love convertible, guys. And with all that said and done, um, <laughs> I'm being mesmerized by the convertibility of the vehicle. I'll catch you all in the next one. Oh, man, this is so cool.